Hey guys. Of course. Please hold. Hey guys. When you guys are watching this, tomorrow will be the one year anniversary of my first GLP dose. So I just wanted to do kind of a look back at the last year on GLP ones and just kind of talk a little bit about what that's looked like for people who may be looking at getting started or who people who have just started or are thinking about starting a GLP-1 and you wanna know what that progression has looked like for me over the last year. My name is Mindy, for those of you who are new, and I'm on a mission to lose 200 pounds. I spent 24 weeks on Wego V, and when my coupon ran out, I moved to a semaglutide compound for three months, and I have now been on Munjaro for 17 weeks. I have lost 96.2 pounds. If you're curious about how, keep on watching. We're on a journey Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted but... The first thing I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit is my weight loss progression. So for the first 24 weeks that I spent on Wegovi, um, and this is for each four week dose or four week set of doses, because if you don't know, each dosage strength comes in a four week pack. So for each four week set on Wegovi, I lost 16.5 pounds, 14.2, 10.7, 7.4, 5.4, and then 10.2. Now I did stay on the 1.75 or I'm trying to remember the name of that dose. <laughs> the one before the 2.4. I stayed on that dosage strength for two months in a row because we were starting to run into the shortages, the supply shortages at that point. So the 7.4 and the 5.4 pounds was when I was on the second to the last dose and then I finally moved up to the 2.4 in my last four weeks on the drug and that was when I lost 10.2 pounds. When I moved to the compound unfortunately I chose to go with a sublingual rapid dissolve tablet instead of the subdermal injection and I don't believe that it worked for me at all. So if you are thinking about going to a compound which is definitely a viable choice I have a whole video about it if you're curious what compounds are and you don't have insurance that covers these drugs but you still want to try them go ahead and click wherever it is that the eye shows up and um, that may answer some more questions about what a compound is and how it works and all that good stuff. But on the compound, I lost for my first four weeks, 5.3 pounds, 5.4 pounds. And then for my last four weeks, I gained 1.4 pounds. At that point was when I started Munjaro. And for my first month on Munjaro, I lost six pounds, 7.2 pounds, 1.5 pounds, and then 6.5 pounds. And that brings me to now. I wanted to talk a little bit about my calorie progression. So when I started, back in October of 2021, I was 365.4 pounds and I was eating 1918 calories per day on average. Now I do calorie cycling, which if you're curious about exactly how calorie cycling works, I will put a link to a video down below for you to watch because it's a lot of scientific jargon that I'm probably not going to get right. These flies, y'all. <laughs> Though there's people a lot smarter than me that are going to be able to explain that better to you. <laughs> Basically, the short version is that calorie cycling is about metabolic disruption. Rather than eating the same number of calories every day, which allows your metabolism to adapt to burning that number of calories. And if you don't know, your metabolism has several ways that it can use to adapt to burn fewer calories so that it can achieve homeostasis, which is what your metabolism wants you to do. That's why when you've reached a certain weight and you've stayed there for a long period of time, it is so hard for you to continue to lose weight. Or if you've been losing weight for a long period of time and then all of a sudden you hit a plateau, that's your metabolism reaching a state of homeostasis. So calorie cycling says some days I eat less calories, some days I eat more calories. For me, I do my shot on Monday mornings. So usually by the weekend, I have a little bit more appetite and I'm able to eat more, which works out well for me because that's usually when we tend to go out to eat a lot more. And obviously when you're eating out, you're consuming a lot more calories. So over the year that I've been on the drug, I gradually decreased my calorie intake week over week until I was down to 1,482 calories. And that was when I was on week two of Munjaro. So I had been just gradually week by week using the calorie calculator in my fitness pal, which honestly, I believe that my fitness pal drastically underestimate your calorie 
outgo. I highly recommend using a TDEE calculator. TDEE stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. And I think that they do a better job of calculating your, your calories. Always use sedentary as your activity level if you are not doing like vigorous exercise. And if you are doing vigorous exercise, then they have adjustments that you can do for that on the calculator. Just Google TDEE calculator and it'll come up. It's not hard, they're not hard to find. On week four of Munjaro, I went back up to 1500 calories average per day. And that's where I've stayed up until now. I have not reduced my calories since then. That's it. So my diet, there are a lot of people that are gonna tell you, you have to eat low carb to lose weight on these drugs. That's not true. Now, obviously, being that Munjaro is a diabetes medication, I'm not talking to people who have diabetes. You guys have a diet that you need to follow. I am not diabetic. I am on these drugs purely for weight loss. Now, I was pre-diabetic when I started taking these drugs last year. So these drugs have saved me from becoming fully diabetic, but I was not fully diabetic when I started taking the drugs. I was pre-diabetic. The diet that I follow is moderation. I eat what I want. I eat what I crave. I eat what sounds good but I do everything in moderation. So I do keep track of my calories. I use my fitness pal. I may be switching to another app soon. I'll probably do a whole other video on that. I'm gonna do some research first. Recently, my focus has been on increasing my protein, making sure that I'm eating enough protein. It is the single most important macro for weight loss to help your body to prioritize keeping muscle tissue over cannibalizing it for metabolism. Eating enough protein is what will help keep you, will help to keep building your muscle tissue and doing all sorts of other things. If you haven't been around for a long time, I have been experiencing hair loss, which I attribute to rapid weight loss. I don't attribute it to the drugs necessarily, but... Anyway, if you look at other methods of rapid weight loss, they often have major hair loss. It is a common theme amongst anyone that's losing massive amounts of weight. So I am very hesitant to immediately draw the conclusion that it's the drugs causing the hair loss. I also have had COVID twice and COVID hair loss is definitely a thing, but I have been losing my hair for years. It's been a long time thing and I am positive that mine is due to malnutrition or mal not necessarily malnutrition, because obviously I was getting enough food, but I wasn't getting the proper kinds of food, the proper nutrients and things like that. And since I've started supplementing some things and, sorry, Helios is chasing flies, it's really cute. Since I've started supplementing and increasing my protein intake and doing some other things, I have definitely seen some improvement in my hair, in my skin, in my fingernails, all of those things. So my focus has been to increase my protein intake to 30% of my calories. I'm still doing more research to find out exactly what the best amount of protein intake is for me. I heard something the other day that said one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And I'm like, that has to be like lean body weight because there's no way I'm eating 260 cal 69 grams of protein a day. There's no way like that's not that's not healthy. That can't be right. So right now my goal is 30% and I've actually been hitting that pretty consistently over the last couple weeks. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> so anywho, those are the current changes in my diet. It will be evolving as time goes on. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to talk through with you guys is a very controversial subject and that's exercise. There are a lot of people that are going to tell you you need to exercise every single day to lose weight. Meh. <laughs> For the first 34 weeks of this journey, I exercised very little, if any at all. And that was when I lost the most weight. So a lot of people will tell you that you have to do cardio, lots of cardio to lose weight. There have been lots of studies that have shown that cardio is not only not the best exercise for weight loss, but in many, many cases, it's actually counterproductive to weight loss because you burn so few calories in relation to the amount that your metabolism demands to replace the energy expended during that cardio, that most of the time you end up consuming more calories than you burned doing the cardio in the first place. Now, there are obviously exceptions for that, for example, I have a friend of mine that was very sedentary. She was extremely overweight as I was not nearly anywhere as bad off as I was, but she was quite overweight. And she started a job at the post office where she started walking eight to 10 hours a day. 
obviously that kind of cardio is going to burn way more calories than a 30 to 45 minute or even an hour cardio session in the gym once a day. So she lost massive amounts of weight, making little to no changes in her diet just because of the massive calorie expenditure that she was gaining by doing that amount of physical activity in a day. Most people aren't going to increase their physical activity by eight to 10 hours a day when they go onto a diet. I don't recommend it. Probably not a good idea for you. <laughs> at least it definitely wasn't for me. When I started back in last October at 365 pounds, my doctor specifically told me, I don't want you doing any major exercise other than very short walks and maybe swimming because the amount of pressure that was put on my joints by all of that weight just wasn't good. I already have arthritis in my knees, my hips, and my tailbone. And we just wanted to wait until I had gotten some of that initial weight off before I started trying to do weight bearing exercise. So in week 35, which was the last week of the semaglutide compound, I started integrating some strength training and swimming two days a week. Now, when I say strength training, I mean 10 to 15 minutes. The absolute best exercise you can do for long-term weight loss is strength training, resistance training, building lean muscle mass. Lean muscle mass burns calories at rest. So it helps to actually increase your basal metabolic rate. So you cannot spot reduce fat. Like you can't work your glutes to make your butt smaller. You can't do crunches to make your waist shrink. You can build up muscle in those areas. And eventually once you've lost your weight, obviously that's going to change the way that your physique looks, but it's, it's not possible to spot reduce fat loss. Anybody that tells you so it is selling you a line, but most importantly is just increasing that overall lean muscle mass so that over time you can help build your metabolism and support your long-term weight loss goals. That's the best way that you can spend your time in the gym or at home or doing whatever. I do resistance band training because I have a very small apartment. I don't have a lot of room to store equipment or exercise equipment or anything like that. Exercise bands are small and they're easy to adjust. They're easy to scale up or scale down. And it doesn't take a lot of room to do the exercises. And I can find hundreds of free videos on YouTube because y'all are cheap. <laughs> Last thing I wanted to talk about was kind of future goals that I have or goals that I have for the future. Unless something changes with the coupon, I will be staying on Mujaro through my full 12 refills of the coupon. After that, I'm gonna to have to reassess and see what other drugs are on the market. It's very possible that hopefully, fingers crossed, the weight loss version of terzepatide will have been approved by the FDA by then, and then I can switch to that drug. Or there could be other drugs on the market by then, who knows? I'm, with the advent of Wegovy and how successful that was, and now Manjaro, these weight loss drugs and the GLP-1s are just, the trials for these drugs is just, like they're just rolling in. And the more competition there is, the less expensive they're going to be, the more coupons there will be. So we're all just holding our breath and crossing our fingers, hoping that there's going to be something new out there that works even better than the last. <laughs> Sometime in the next several months, I'm going to be working on reverse dieting to speed up my metabolism because my weight loss has slowed considerably over the last several months. And I know that it's because my metabolism is starting to reach that place of homeostasis. The fact that I have made it through a year of serious dieting without hitting any kind of a stall is miraculous. And I contribute that 1000% to the calorie cycling. The few times that you guys heard the one month where I gained 1.4 pounds, that was the last month of the compound. And the compound was not doing anything for me. Any, any remnants of the Wegovy had been drained from my system. The one month on Mujaro where I only lost 1.5 pounds, that was because I completely fell off the wagon and had a week of really bad regression. If you want to see how somebody responds to just a really biting the bullet, just go ahead and check out that video. <laughs> anyway, the calorie cycling, I completely contribute to the fact that I have not stalled on, on this weight loss journey at this point. But I do want to work on reverse dieting, which I will have my own separate video on reverse dieting. But if you're curious what reverse dieting is and how it works, uh, Miss Fit and Nerdy here on YouTube is an amazing channel. She has an entire course that you can purchase to go through with her, but she talks about it a lot on her channel and how it works. It's a trick that bodybuilders have been using for decades and it is a tried and true method. It's based on phys scientific physiology, but it is not a proven method in that it doesn't work 100% of the time for everybody. Like it's just, you just gotta try it and see how it goes. So that's what I'm gonna do eventually sometime over the next couple of months.
And one of my other big goals is to increase my physical activity so that I can build up my endurance, my stamina, and my strength. I won't get stronger. I'm already quite a strong person. You don't get to 365 pounds still being mobile and not have some strength. Like, I'm a muscly girl. I am a... I can't remember whether it's an endomorph or an ectomorph. I'm one of those people who easily puts on muscle, but also easily puts on fat. I'm in that group with some very nice company, Henry Cavill, to be one. Oh, that man. Anyway, so you guys, I think that's it for this video. I have rambled long enough. <laughs> I hope you found this video useful or, I mean, I don't know how entertaining it is. I've just been talking at you for 20 minutes, but... <laughs> Um, I hope you found it interesting or educational. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I would love to hear about your journey, how long you've been on a GLP-1, if you haven't started one, what you're thinking about starting, if there's a specific video you would love to see from me or things you want clarified, let me know. I would be happy to oblige. This channel is just as much for you as it is for me. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate you so much. If you're not already subscribed, please consider joining my YouTube family. I would love to have you. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. To be better without what's been holding us back now. Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. This is a 2X. This is our final chance. Cause one day we'll be looking back at this. We were in a but these size 22. We found a way to choose right from wrong. We found the strength to go on to get. Don't worry, Toya. I'll be following you for modification. To go on to get.